morning from here. Well, it's not so nice today at all. Um, well, you can see, because I'm overlaying the video, aren't I clever? Um, that it's a grey, it's damp. I'm, gl I'm glad I went out on my bike yesterday. Really, really am. Loads of nice comments yesterday, thank you very much. Um, I love reading them. Um, <laughs> had, a, had an email from, from Dave Eastman. Uh, one of the subscribers who um, who sent me a video um, of um, how his dog enjoys the channel I'll show you anyway I've got to do the school run um, I'm not filming that I'll do the sunglasses thing then um, and I've got a special latest for you at the end as well right I'm going to show you something which is um, the wood that we got when we spoke to the to the stove installers yesterday so we've got absolutely shocking wood. Now, the uh, the moisture level should be, uh, and I, I can't remember the metric of measurement, um, it should be like between, uh, between 14 and 20. Um, all this stuff here, it's like 40. So you just can't use it. Just can't use it at all. I might be able to use it next year. But um, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we bought some compressed logs, uh, which apparently is a little bit more expensive, but a hell of a lot more fuel efficient, which makes it cheaper in the long run. Uh, so that's what we might do next year, as opposed to buying a uh, proper wood. I don't know. It's something that we're gonna have to think about. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments if you if you've used both compressed and real logs. Uh, but the logs that we bought might, might as well be driftwood. Yeah, basically, if it goes red, don't burn it. Right, so, school run. It's definitely raining. There's definitely absolutely no need for sunglasses. Doesn't stop me. Anyway. <laughs> Cue slow-mo. Now the kids have dropped off. Um, got to do a bit of shopping. We're going to go to La Roche for Co which is where we stayed for a week uh, when we did the filming uh, with the place and sun. Do you want to see a chateau? I'll show you. The chateau. Um, I'm gonna take it on the bridge. Just some filming on the bridge for a place in the sun. And it's uh, Lisa and I also did a bit of uh, filming for our own behind the scenes footage. It's where, it's where we nearly got run over by a moped. I think I swore on that video. Didn't believe it. Didn't know he had to. Anyway, that's enough of that, because it's going to wind my mum up. Because when my mum came over, I said I'll take it to the chateau. Only in, ever intended to take it on the outside, she wanted to go in, on the inside. Didn't have time, so she didn't go. So she sulks. <laughs> Hi, mum. Despite all of the things I've been through, I see now the sweet taste suddenly in exchange. You really got me stuck.
That was expensive, again. <laughs> it's back from shopping now. Um, horrible day out there today. Just trying to find the light, there it is. Um, yeah, bought some logs, proper logs, dry logs. Um, and uh, some new fire lighters. And uh, yeah, we've had an update on the, on the new rules around the dechettery, the, the tip, and, uh, and the card system that they're gonna use. I'll share that with you. Right, just by way of example, uh, we've just had to buy some wood. Uh, I'll show you. It's there, it's not cheap, but it's proper, proper dried wood. So by way of example, in terms of the, oh well this fares up, I'll see if I can uh, show you. Yeah, so using the old, uh, so amber's okay, green is perfect, red, don't burn. low. It's like 6.4 percent. Get it right in there. Oh it's gone up to eight. I've sh shoved it right in. So perfect. And compared to the uh, to one that I had, yeah we can't use that this year. So uh, yeah anyway fire's going nice. Lunch time. There's a lizard. <laughs> right, so I've hurt my hand. Don't know whether you're gonna be able to see that. If I do slow it down, I'll probably have to bleep it as well because I think I swore. I think I think what I said, blooming neck, that hurt. Uh, anyway, we've both done this without instructions. Um, but I got stuck. So I'm waiting for Lisa to come and make it better. <laughs> so what have I done wrong? So the longer section that went in should have been downward. Uh, right, so Lisa's now going to take it all apart because I've messed up. Because I'm injured. Look, I've been in the wars. Right, 
You'll get angry. I'm not angry. Pushing them, Dave. Still got one to go on that. <laughs> right, we put these in. Yeah. Go on then. Bonjour. <laughs> That's very, very straight, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. With a bit of weight on the bottom, they're going nowhere. That's it. Look. Hold them still. A big shout out to uh, to Andrew and Julie, who we had a phone call before. They're over in France now. They've been over since September, like us, renting, and they've got a place uh, about two hours uh, north of us. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we were able to give them some good advice and uh, we can meet up for a beer, coffee, maybe even a wine uh, at some point in the future once they're settled. But uh, yeah, it was good to talk. Anyway, let's... Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to film to be honest with you. I'm running out of ideas. But uh, what it means is that I'm not going to have like an hour and a half worth of footage to try and get down into uh, 10 minutes, which normally means it's 17 minutes. Hmm. Anyway. He's judging. Tonight. Watching a film. Gonna watch Bikini Car Wash too. Okay, we can do. You'll be wondering in a minute why I've done the clothes into this video still with my coat on. It's because it's all out of sync. I'd say goodbye. I'd say goodbye to you. Um, but she found me more jobs. She found me more jobs. Anyway, right. So, we've, t I don't know what it's called. It's the top of the chimney. Um, overlaying, no. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how Rob did it the other day, um, but he managed to get two halves of it down, uh, down the ladder. Uh, not left behind. We're, we're gonna use them as planters. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you. And this is uh, the old one that was on top of the chimney. So uh, I think we're thinking strawberries, but they must have been 50 kilo each. Yeah. I wasn't caught on camera, because I put the camera away. But when I lifted it up and tried to move it, I didn't want to do it. I said, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I sulked. <laughs> and it took Lisa to shame me by trying to roll it across the gravel which would have literally taken her four days to do. I, I, I couldn't have gone indoors. <laughs> what? I could have done. <laughs> Just watched it out the window, struggling. All right, right, I'll do it, I'll do it. I did it. I used the wheelbarrow in the end. It wasn't strong enough. <laughs> the weight of them. <laughs> yeah, it's not 50 kilo, it's about 30. it's called upcycling isn't it so yeah it's still part of the house it's just not on the roof where it should be but yeah it's still still serving a purpose I'm not getting rid of it it's not going to to the dishettery ah oh, i need to give you an update on that but i need my phone for that right stand by right so new dishettery update um let's have a look probably would have helped if that right Right, so Deschetteries update for those of you who live in France. Deschetteries is a tip. Um, there's going to be cards that are going to be introduced. I don't think they've got that in the UK <coughs> before the end of the year. So apparently, max two meters cubed and two different Deschetteries daily. One card per household. No limit on visits in the Chiron. Well, I think that's you know different then. Apart from we have a card. 
Uh, just don't just don't lose your card. Household bin, household refuse collection will be via new bins, 180 litre waste bin and 240 litre uh, recycling bin. Um, in each, well, in our hamlet, we've just got uh, yeah, three huge bins which are just right outside our house. Which probably doesn't help with the flies, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so we tend to yeah just chuck it in there. But um, yeah, now each household is going to have their own. So uh, I'm not going to read the rest because uh, I'm putting myself to sleep just thinking about it. But there you go, Dechettery update. And thanks to Martin and Kathy for the Dechettery update. Very helpful, thank you. Good neighbours. And a big thanks to Gaz for his slow-mo. Very much appreciated, Gaz, thank you. Yeah, so a bit of a mishmash today. Um, not really filmed anything. Don't know what I can call it. Don't know what the thumbnail's gonna be. Um, probably means that YouTube's not gonna send it out to anyone. Anyway, that's not what I do, don't care. Um, yeah, I, uh, the rain stopped now, pretty chilled. Do you know, it's the calm before the storm. That's because it's Friday today, the kids are off for two weeks. Kids always have two weeks off over in France, I'm pretty sure they only had a week off in, in England. Yeah, that's, uh, Evangeline being the age that she is, she's demanding. <laughs> but we love her. In small doses but uh, no we do um so anyway if you're new to this channel this is just uh, us living in france in rural france trying to live sustainably and uh, and, and as frugally as we can um yeah loads of everyone's a youtuber in france everyone um <laughs> and i'm just next in line so anyway if you like these videos please subscribe give it a thumbs up it doesn't cost anything don't forget to hit the notification bell so they get notified on your phone when as soon as it goes out which is normally around about eight o'clock you don't need to search for it you don't if you hit the notification bell which is somewhere around i don't know um then um the moment it's on youtube it goes on your phone you watch it what's on the telly i always watch my youtube's on the telly nice big telly 65 inches yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Anyway, leaves one last thing left to say. It's not from me. It's not from him. It's not from her. It's not from him, the dirty ticket. Laters. <laughs> and a big thank you to Connie for the laters. Thank you very much.